You know, it never ceases to amaze me how much money we spend in our business or even our personal lives on software and DVDs. For example, this program I'm holding in my hand, this is Cinema 4D. This is an advanced 3D software program that developers use. It costs in the four to $5,000 for this creative suite. Over here, I've got the new Adobe software, which comes with the Premiere and the InDesign and all those graphic software programs. This is three to $4,000 as well. Every single one of these programs gets delivered on a DVD data disc or a data disc CD. Between these two programs here, I've probably got about $10,000 worth of software and they're all contained on these discs. Now, what if I was to do something outrageous right now and take my car keys out of my pocket and scratch the heck out of this $3,000 software? Well, I bet you'd be getting pretty scared at home. I mean, take a look at that. Almost unfixable in terms of the scratches and the deep grooves. Well, I could probably go back to the manufacturer and say, hey, listen, I've accidentally damaged my disc. Can I get them replaced? And if I found my receipts and I jumped through the right loopholes, I could probably get them to help me out. But there's another solution that you can look at and Maxwell's come up with. It's called, this, it's called the Disc Cleaner Pro. It's interesting because what it does is it actually takes these discs and it buffs out the scratches. Now, it can't fix everything and we're going to find out whether or not it fixed the job that I did with my keys here. But what it can do is it can take these discs that do get used a lot and actually bring them back to a state where you can get the data off. I'll show you how it works. So basically what you want to do is you take a disc. I've got to test one here with just as many scratches. And the first thing that you do is you pop open the side that does buffing and sanding. So if you take a look inside of here, what we have is we have two different buffers on here. Or actually, these are the sanders right now. I'll take that off just to show you a little bit a closer look at what that looks like. It's a little tiny wheel with a little piece of sandpaper on it. And what it's going to do is it's going to go around for three minutes and completely sand this data disk. Put that back on there because I'm going to actually show you how this works. Before you put the DVD or CD inside the case, you open up the back side. A little nifty compartment in the back here where you can see it's got extra little pads. Actually, these are the buffers and we'll talk about those in a second. Inside of here, just pop that back into place. We've got the goop. The goop is very important <laughs> because you take three drops of the goop and you drop it onto the disc before you start the buffing process. Oh, we're getting low on goop. I must have done this a few times. It doesn't smell very nice, but believe me, it works. So you take the disc, you've got the goop, and you simply put it inside of the, sa the uh, sander, close the case, and press the sand and polish button. What that'll do is it'll run for three minutes. I'm going to start that up in a second. Once you've done that process, you actually have to go inside, pull the disc out that's been buffed, work with it carefully because you don't want to scratch it, and replace these sanders with the buffers and then put the disc back in place. No need to add any more goop. Close that up, let it run for another three minutes. Well, because we don't have 10 minutes for me to explain the whole segment to you, once that's gone through its six minutes of buffing and sanding, then what you do is you put it in the polish side. Open up your little compartment in the back again, take out your spray, put it on the next disc, insert that disc in, and for three more minutes, you're gonna run what they call the, the polishing. And what that does, it just puts a nice coat on top so that the data is protected from future potential scratches. After nine minutes of play, you actually get a disc that once had scratches in it, but now most likely will be, be able to be read. It's a great safeguard if you've got lots of money invested into software. And you know what? It's a super tool if you've got kids that have their own cartoon DVDs. You can simply buff the scratches out and keep those things working for a long time to go.